Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of This Sounded Good Until I Got Here. All right, step one for going undercover. I feel like dressing in all black is kind of just a requirement, so let's get changed. Yeah, this kind of James Bondish. I'm an idiot, why am I dressed in black? This isn't even at night. If I for some reason pull this off and don't get caught, this is gonna be hilarious. All right, so here's the game plan for today. Uh, whether you've heard of them or not, probably the sweetest and definitely the largest ice fishing company in the world is um, Clam. And their headquarters is really like an hour and a half away from my house. So every August this time of year, Clam comes out with a whole bunch of new products, brand new for ice fishing. And always right around August, I get a huge itch kind of getting ready for fall, getting ready for ice fishing. The only problem is with the pandemic and everything going on, I know their headquarters is closed and it's probably gonna be like two, three, I don't know how many months till I get some of these new toys in my hands. So. I got to thinking, made poor decisions, and I decided I'm gonna break into their building today. Now, now I know what you're thinking. Sobe, this, this is not your brightest idea. No, I, I know this, I, I, I'm fully aware. This is, this is stupid. But at least I have a plan. So here's the plan. The Clam Headquarters building is approximately 150,000 square feet. This is a massive facility. Shipping, receiving, front areas, assembly, like it's, it's a giant building. I've been in it before. So after showing up here today, I did some drone surveillance and I realized the shipping and receiving is open on the left side of the building. Then I called my buddy Matt who works there. Uh, yeah, we do like an online pickup. You can swing by, do like a curbside, you place an order ahead of time. But no, I mean, we're still closed to the public and shipping and receiving is wide open and we're going crazy there but in terms of public stuff uh, we're still kind of closed down unfortunately so i think that's my best route i'm going to kind of go to the left side of the building break in through shipping and receiving maybe hang back kind of in the warehouse area and then work my way forward to potentially check out some of the new products all right so that's shipping and receiving this is still a long way from the front desk i'm just gonna potentially pull into an employee parking spot Gosh, they look all taken. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> Why not just go in there with confidence? I'll park. <laughs> I'll park right next to receiving. All right, so on the far end of shipping, it looks like a, a fresh semi is pulling in to either grab freight or drop off freight. Uh, and there's gotta be some open doors over there. So I'm just gonna kind of hop in between cars and uh, maybe sneak my way up to that open door. Let's get it. Okay, kind of change of plans. I crept up pretty close to there, but there's like four or five people unloading stuff, so I'm bailing on that plan. But there are like a bunch of receiving doors down here, and I'm just gonna try opening them. And if they're open, hopefully just slip through, nobody's back there, but yeah, that's just, there's too many people down there. Um, I'm kind of like right in the middle, midway back. And right here, there's a whole bunch of ice houses. But I want to find like the new tackle, the new ice armor. Okay, at least we're in. We're in and nobody's home. I feel like this is, this is more clam here and that could be more ice armor there. And then clam pro tackle, I don't know. It's hot in here, I'm sweating. I can hear people over there but it doesn't sound like anybody's back this way. There's some open doors right there, so if I get caught, I'm just a bunch of tubs. There's no one back here. I'm like semi-comfortable. Oh my God. That's a lot of pallets. Okay, so at this facility, Clam also makes like polar trailers, so I feel like I'm not near the ice fishing stuff. I'm near their cool looking trailers. Where is the ice stuff? I don't know if you guys have ever been in a 150,000 square foot building before, but there's plenty of places to hide. So far, so good. That's Dave Gantz. That 
guy just walked probably 10 feet away from me. Shortly after that, I found the new gear. I'm gonna voice over this part because I didn't want to be loud when I was recording it. But um, right away, I found brand new reels, brand new pro wrap, multi colors too, whole bunch of colors, some yellows, some greens. It looks like fresh rattle reels, maybe with new rattle reel line. Some new extensions and new different parts that go onto hub houses. Looks like rod holders, super cool rod holders. I'm gonna definitely put that in my flip over. Uh, some fresh socks, some Ice Armor socks. Yeah, you could tell I definitely like those socks. Uh, brand new Ice Armor gloves, kind of low profile. Would be good for ice fishermen and probably just normal people that shovel their driveway. After the gloves, I found the Sickies. Looks like brand new little plastic options to put on your jigs. And from there, I found a bag of fresh new tackle, a bunch of different colors. I knew I had short time at this table, so I picked up what looked like a Tika minnow. That's brand new, I've never seen that. Whole bunch of different colors, good for crappies, walleyes, perch. Everything underneath the sun. Looks like a bunch of different sizes too. Uh, from there, it looked like rattle reel line, bunch of different colors, some different line as well, just normal ice fishing line, probably fluorocarbon, monofilament. And from there, I found brand spanking new boxes. These boxes are super sick. Looks like there's three sizes, a large, a medium, and a small foam inserts. They had a whole bunch of jigs in there. I don't know if these are displays they're using for product photos, but yeah, these boxes are pretty bad to the bone. And probably the coolest thing I discovered is uh, the brand new flip over shacks that they have. It's the 40th year anniversary of the fish trap. It's Dave Gens edition. Uh, it's a cool like OG faded white cream color with red lettering and it's, yeah, it's a bad to the bone house. So basically up toward the front, I found a whole table of their new product and what they're coming out with this year. Cool new reels, jigs, jig boxes, new ice armor. I checked out the whole new ice armor suit. And um, yeah, I didn't get much time to play with it because I kept getting spooked. There's guys with forklifts in the back. There's dudes walking almost 10 feet away from me. I got to play with it a little, but not much. I kind of got spooked out of there. Basically from what I saw, it looks like brand new ice armor suits. Felt them a little bit. Brand new ice armor socks, gloves. I tried one of the gloves on, amazing. Really light, more like low profile glove. And um, looks like new boxes, which is really cool. Looks like awesome, like foam inserts. They have like a small box, medium box, large box. And then besides that, I don't know how many new products they're coming out with, but there was a bunch of new Clam Pro Tackle there. Uh, a lot of different colors, a lot of different colors in jigs, a lot of different colors in that minnow that I just saw, but I don't know, that's brand new. I've never seen that in my life. I think next game plan is just get out of here without being seen. I'm in a high traffic area and then, um, yeah, just leave. This is. I've came this far, I saw the new product, I touched it, it's awesome. I need to get out of here. <laughs> that boys <laughs> I don't know which side of the building I'm on now <laughs> we're in we're out we didn't cause any harm oh, we're out we're out we are out of here all right ladies and gentlemen we are out of here we came we saw we conquered we didn't create any destruction I got to feel some of the new gear yeah I'll link their website down below if you want to check out some of the new ice fishing gear I'm just pumped and I'm glad I got to at least touch it I don't know when it'll be in stores probably sooner and later but we're out of here we didn't really get caught we saw a lot of stuff brand new ice armor brand new clam pro tackle new rods new reels and a brand new 40th anniversary edition fish trap it's a cool old school dave gans one so yeah ice fishing is around the corner boys get hyped thank you guys so much for watching this video all the way to the end i guess there's nothing left to be said then stay tuned and as always let the adventure begin oh my pretty babe Something ain't right Got to find a way To move ahead Oh my pretty baby